Hi guys, welcome back to another Tech Tuesday. Tim Trowbridge, data engineer with Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan. Today we're gonna to go through our timing stands or the tower of technology as we have kind of coined it for Tech Tuesday, uh, where all of our major decisions and all of our race strategy and everything that goes on in the race weekend, especially during the race, happens on this big behemoth behind me. Uh, so we'll start here with the timing stand. This is there's one of two major components in the uh, pit lane for a race weekend. You got the timing stand and our fuel rig. Uh, between those two and a big cart, everything we need for the weekend is there, uh, including wheel guns, which you'll see we have storage here for. So during pit stops, we will use our wheel guns. Transported and stored in the timing stand. Uh, we also have all of our crew radios and any other wireless communication we need, uh, including like I said, radio communication to the crew, to the car. Uh, we have Bluetooth for talking wirelessly to some of the crew members. So Bluetooth headsets are not just for gaming, they're also in professional motorsports. Pretty cool. Um, we also have additional storage. You'll see a bunch of that around here. Uh, we have the Brainworks, basically the center of everything. Starts in this cabinet here. You've got our power supply, uh, just in case we lose any power. It has happened before. You have a backup power for it all of our networking. Uh, we have our big computer. Be surprised what all you can run with that. Uh, we have our IndyCar network, which is the nice blue white box here. Uh, that is how we communicate with IndyCar and get all of our data feed from the, from the series. Uh, we have some telemetry boxes, our intercom system, our car radio, basically everything important minus the screens and the engineers are inside of this uh, behemoth again. Uh, we've got a lot of storage, as I said. We've got two doors on each side. We've got a big storage component here for all of our sides and any other uh, miscellaneous components, helmets, uh, additional supports for when we go to tracks with uh, big gaps in the road. Uh, and then we can get up here. Not only do we have radios, we also have, as I said, our intercom system. So everybody on the stand and some guys wirelessly have uh, an open mic communication between each other. So everybody on here, a uh, race engineer, performance engineer, a data engineer, uh, dampers, Honda, or engine manufacturer, engineer, sorry, your race strategists, any miscellaneous engineers, everybody has ears, everybody's able to talk and have an open communication with each other. Um, you'll see a headset pretty much anywhere. All of these ports are available options for engineers and if Bobby wants to come and say hi, he can pop in and plug right in and say hi to us. And then we can move right over here. Uh, with that big old computer, we run a lot of programs. Uh, most notably, we have our timing and scoring software, as I have an example here. We have some race tools from Laguna. Uh, right here is where a lot of the race strategy calls are made. You get all of your track information and timing information throughout here. Uh, track maps, marching ants, as everybody likes to call it. Uh, you got your running order, just a lot of information. It takes a lot of time and a lot of skill to be able to go through this and actually make your decisions. And we also have our Pi toolbox right up over here. We use this for our telemetry and for any data analysis that we need to perform. Uh, right now it's actually blank. We have no car connected. So just kind of an overview of what we got. You're watching your temperatures, brakes, rotors, uprights, all that fun stuff, mixtures and trims. So more strategist calls. Uh, just for engineers to know. Uh, we got our track maps obviously everywhere. We got a GPS map. Again, not connected to anything, so you're not gonna see it. Temperatures, a lot of squiggly lines. You, uh, engineers work in squiggly lines. And we definitely show it here. Uh, and then on top of that, we also have, for example, all of our computers. Uh, we've got, I think normally three or four of us that are all plugged in here. So not only do we have the community uh, telemetry and timing scores, we also have all of our own. So if we all make our own decisions. And then on top of that, with our headsets, we're gonna backtrack. We've also got all of our radios. So not only do the crew members have the radios, all the race engineers, all the engineers, strategists, everybody. So not only are we communicating open mic with each other, we can also communicate with all the crew and make decisions, so. Well, thanks for tuning in, by the way. Uh, just to make sure everybody understands, there's a lot of information a lot of things going on at all times on this timing stand, so it's a little difficult to put everything in a very short period of time, but a lot of, like I said, very important information and decisions are go through this timing stand, a lot of action, and hopefully we'll see everybody at the racetrack at some point. 
and definitely get to see this big old behemoth in person. See you next time.